In the question 9, we have to write the equations in standard form and only two points are given to us. You can see these two points are given and we need to write in standard form. Of course, there is shortcut methods. When you have four different options, we can easily find the correct answer. But I will just write the exact method as well for this one. See, we need to first find the slope. Whenever two points are given, we always know we have to find the slope. y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. What is standard form? Standard form means ax plus by equals c. The x and y terms are grouped up together equals the number, the constant term separately. Which equation can we solve? Which equation can we use to solve the standard form? You can use, say, point, slope intercept and then rearrange it. But the easier method would be point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M into X minus X1. All you do is substitute the uh, known values. Here, this is X1, Y1 x2 y2 you can substitute 4 and minus 7 here and of course you'll get the correct answer it's well itself the same answer you can check it for any problem but since over here m is unknown first we solve for m and then choose whichever is easier values over here now let's solve the m value first y2 is minus 7 minus of minus 3 divided by x2 is 4 minus of minus 2 the answer would be minus 7 plus 3 divided by 4 plus 2. Here, when you solve this up, it will be minus 4 divided by 6. It is negative 2 thirds. That is the slope. So m value is minus 2 thirds. x and y will remain as it is. But what is y1 and x1? You can choose this set or the set up to you. I'll choose the simplified one, the minus 3, the first one itself. And over here we have minus of minus 2. Because both are negative, we have to put brackets and write them. Now let's solve them. It will be plus 3, y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 thirds, x plus 2. Now this 2 thirds is multiplied inside. It will be 2 thirds of x minus 4 by 3. Why? Because 2 thirds multiplied by 2 is 2 times 2 is 4 divided by 3, negative sign. And here we have y plus 3. Now here standard form requires x to be grouped up together. So I'll bring this entire term at the other side of equal to. It will be positive 2 thirds x plus y is equal to this 3 to the other side becomes minus 3. Okay. 4 by 3 minus 3. So now we need to solve it. You can use your calculator and solve it. But I'll just do it in over here. 3 by 3. So we will have divided 3 minus and minus 913. So that would be the final answer. It's 2 thirds x plus y equals negative 13. We are just multiply 3 by 3. So the fraction denominators will be the same and then I can solve the numerators. So this is the correct answer. I'll just check the answer if I done any mistake or anything. That's okay. Now here this is the correct answer. But they simplified this option may not be there. This is the correct option itself. But I saw over there, the denominators were not there. What they do is, whenever your options are given, they don't write fractions like this. They will multiply throughout by 3. This 3 is multiplied throughout. That means I'm balanced. It's fine. You can multiply the same term throughout the equal to sign. It's okay. That's a balanced equation itself. So what happens is this 3 and 3 cancels here. It will be 2x. There is no denominator. So you have to multiply 3 times y. It will be 3y. Here also, it's 2 by thirds multiplied by 3. The 3 and 3 cancels and so you have only 2x. Here, there's nothing. So it's 3 times y equals minus 13 divided by this cancels off. It'll be minus 13. So this is your final answer. Even this was correct about, but the option is just rearranged and written, simplified and written. So you can see that would be the correct answer now. So that's it. But since the options are given, I will tell you a shortcut and an easy, easy method. But you need to know all the four options and you need to have a calculator to do this method. Let's all take our calculators here. So all you do is, you know this particular equation, right? X and Y terms are together. So if you input this X and Y here, the right side must be balanced. Whatever the answer is at the right must be at the left side. So I'll show you what it means. 2 multiplied by instead of X, I'm going to put x and y. x is how much? 
minus 2. So for each question, you should just consider x and y, x and y, and try both the set of points. Here, x is minus 2 plus 3 times, what is y? Minus 3. Let me just press equal to, it is minus 13. Yes, this is equal to. But what about the other set of values? Just change the x value from minus 2 to 4 and from minus 3 to 7, minus 7. It's still negative 13. Yes, the, this is correct set of points. All the other points will not match. If they match, it cannot be because then it's the same equation here as well for both the points. So there will be only one set of points, this x, y, x, y. When you put it in the equation, it will be equal to the right side value. So just put it in all the four equations and check. So let's try this one as well. You need to know the answers. And now I will show you. All you do is in the right side equation, phi into x will be 2 minus 7 times 7. The answer is negative 39. And now let me put the next point. It is minus phi times 2 minus 39. You can try this to any, any equation and it will work. So let me try this one. It seems a little bigger. So here you have 4 into minus 1 minus 19. The answer is negative 23. And we have 4 multiplied by 3 minus 35. Absolutely, it's negative 3. So when you do this in the other equations, right, they do not match. Because these points cannot be matching the other equations. It won't be balanced. Only one correct equation will balance. And that's the correct answer. And that is the end of question 9.